Alright, hey guys, what's up? It's uh, the original White Kenyon, and I'm here to bring you how to hack your save data on um, Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep on the Kingdom Hearts 2.5 on PS3. And I'll let you know that it is extremely easy, and I got this from another video, and he showed that the save actually worked, and I've tried it on my PS3, and it's worked. So, um... Yeah, he, but he didn't explain it, so I'm making a video now to explain how it works, so if anyone watches that video, they can see see how to do it. But first, before you do anything, you should um, get all saves off there, whether it's uh, all three of the characters, or two or one, and make sure you back them up. That's uh, first priority, and the uh, second thing you're going to want to do uh, during this tutorial is you make sure you're running everything as an administrator and I'm gonna have uh, links down in the uh, description to all the programs that you're gonna need to download for this um, one of them is the uh, brute force save data a version uh, I don't think the version matters but it's a uh, 4.7.3 and you're gonna need to get the checksum fixer which will make sure your save data doesn't get corrupt when you put it onto your PS3 and then you're going to want to uh, get, um, ah, what was it, uh, oh, the uh, guided user interface save editor, so you can actually edit your stuff. You won't be using brute force to uh, use it, you'll be using a separate program. But uh, anyway, let's get into the video and I'll explain. Alright guys, so I've got um, brute force save data opened up right now, and I did run this as an administrator. So first you're going to want to decrypt your files as I did there and choose whatever character you're going to be doing them on. And uh, I put my checksum fixer and editor into a folder for ease of use. So go to your save editor and run as administrator so nothing, no error happens or anything. And uh, once you have this open you're going to want to open the save that you just decrypted from brute force. I have it on my flash drive and uh, make sure you select all files so you can find the I think it's the dot dat folder Hold on, let me see here uh, yes dot dat so open save data dot dat and there it is there's your save so you can change HP experience level you know you can see for yourself there you can unlock the D links change your difficulty give yourself a certain keyblade that you want and all that stuff. So, uh, just uh, once you're finished here, just hold on a sec. Um, all right, once you're finished here, you're going to want to save it. And once you've saved it, you're going to want to go open up your save into a. Uh, for, well, first, you're going to want to open the checksum fixer. I'll be doing that here in a second, as you'll see. And uh, what you're going to do is you're going to want to drag that save data, that the save data. Uh, dot dat over and drag it on top of the checksum fixer so as you'll see here I will go back to the folder and go to the checksum fixer and kh.exe you're gonna wanna drag your save data onto that so once you do that that screen will pop up and it will fix your checksum so you won't have uh, corrupt save data and then you wanna go back to brute force and encrypt and you can verify your PFD and see if it worked. And if it did, then great. Go put it on your PS3 and it should work. And um, I hope, yeah, any uh, questions or comments, like, subscribe, etc. Uh, put it down in the comments. I'll answer any questions that you need. But main thing to keep track of is to always run everything as administrator and you shouldn't have any problems. But I'm the original opinion and thank you for watching.